Hi everybody, this is John from Backyard Eden. Um, not much going on today in the garden, uh, just kind of relaxing for Friday. But I thought I'd give you a quick look at the pepper seedlings that I'm starting. Um, I started them, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, I'd say probably about a month ago, actually about four weeks ago. And uh, started them from seed, uh, using a couple of different methods. The uh, paper towel and the bag method, uh, just starting them in seed trays. Um, and I've actually got a few started in the double cup method and I'll show you what those look like but this is about a month of growth I've transplanted them up to some small uh, some small containers um, got a couple of different things working uh, one I'm going to try to plant uh, two peppers in um, a pot in certain uh, varieties uh, and then I'm going to plant just singles and I want to see which one does better two peppers in a, in a pot or just one uh, and I've actually done this before a little bit uh, unintentionally, uh, just out of, you know, not wanting to uh, separate the plants. So we're going to see how this is going to work, but I just want to give you a quick look at the pepper seedlings in my indoor grow light shelf. Um, and yeah, so my goal here, it's, it's August. My goal here is to actually get them to a point where they're fully mature uh, and producing a ton of fruit before they go out to my garden in March of next year. So these are actually the plants for 2018. So here's a quick look. All right guys, so here are the pepper plants. Now I will tell you that there are a couple things going on here. Uh, I've got a variety of different sizes. A lot of them are primarily sweet peppers. You can see uh, these right here are actually quite tall for about a month in. And then I have some right here they're actually quite short so there's a variety of different peppers in here um, some of them do have some yellowing of the leaves that's because I kind of waited too long to fertilize them the first time um, some of them are doing fantastic um, some of them have some you know actually some light damage because <laughs> I didn't move the light up quick enough um, but they'll all bounce back uh, they're looking pretty good for the most part uh, and like I said my plan is to get these to a point where they're fully mature and producing peppers before they go out in my garden uh, in March of 2018. So these are actually next year's plants in August of 2017. So it's kind of a crazy thing, but I'm going to have a greenhouse this, uh, this winter and so they're going to get to grow in the greenhouse over the winter. Uh, they won't grow a ton, but they'll grow some. Cause I'm not actually going to heat the greenhouse. Um, I might passively heat the greenhouse, but that's something that I'm still kind of considering and working through uh, what I can do there. So let's just run through a few of these and see what they are. Uh, like I said, these are about a month old. Um, this here is a, like I said, I'm going to do some in two pepper plants. You can see we're one and two. Uh, this is a red sweet pepper. This is actually um, what some people would consider a lunchbox pepper. Uh, you can buy these in the store in a bag. Uh, they're generally uh, 2 to $4. Um, they come in a bag with red, yellow, and orange. Uh, these are the reds. Uh, I really love these peppers. They're sweet. Uh, they're great to snack on. And so I thought, hey, why not? Let's give it a try. Let's save some seeds and grow some peppers from those. Love them so much. Um, more than likely, they're a hybrid of some sort. So these pepper plants, there's no telling what I'll get out of them. But it's worth a shot. Uh, I do have several of these. Uh, I have, I believe, eight starters. Uh, four of them have two pepper plants in them. And then four of them only have one. And you can tell right off the bat that there is a little bit of a size difference uh, between the two. This has two of the red sweet uh, lunchbox. I just call it a sweet red uh, pepper. And then this is a single <laughs> pepper. So right off the bat, uh, you can notice a size difference. Um, they, were, they, they are fed on the same schedule. I feed them with a half strength liquid fertilizer. Um, and because I'm inside, I do use a chemical fertilizer for this. Um, just because there's no smell. 
Uh, once these guys go outside, we'll use a organic fertilizer, something I do use compost tea, fish emulsion. Uh, I do use Job's water soluble fertilizer from time to time. So these will get an organic fertilizer once going outside. Uh, and like I said, these have been trans, I only transplanted these maybe, man, maybe a week ago, and they're just crazy. So those are the red sweets. Um, like I said, I've got several. I mean, just look at that. That is amazing. After a month. Um, the next one is Ahi Amarillo or Aji Amarillo, however you want to say that. It's actually not a super hot pepper. It's mild and super flavorful. I grow a lot of the Ahi flavor, uh, the Ahi variety peppers. And this is something that I'm trying to grow. I've had the peppers before, but I'm trying to grow these for the first time uh, in 2018. Uh, so I've got several of those. I've got cherry bomb, uh, hot cherry bomb peppers. Those are actually pretty good. Same sort of thing um, with the two peppers versus the one pepper. Uh, here's a cherry bomb that is in a pot by itself, looking much better than the two, and that's okay. Um, I've got a Bahamian goat, uh, which is a pretty neat pepper. Um, it's not super hot, uh, but it is a lot. It's more. Con it's considerably more hot than, say, like a jalapeno. Uh, but it has a great flavor. I actually heard about these for the first time from King Star on YouTube, so these are great. Um, I have the Brazilian starfish. Um, just a fantastic pepper. I grew these for the first time last year and man they just produced a ton uh, so they're fantastic i had eight one plant last year Ooh, i had one plant last year um, that looked like i mean just looked like crap and it didn't look like it was going to do anything for the year i planted it out man i didn't even i barely even watered it i'd never even give it any sort of food i uh, just planted straight into compost and it absolutely took off and just produced I mean, hundreds of peppers. So I'm awesome. This is just an awesome pepper plant. Um, let's see. Some of these need some water. This is a yellow MO, MOA Scotch bonnet. Uh, now this pepper is considerably hot. Um, I mean, Scotch bonnets and habaneros are similar in, in heat profiles, <clears throat> but different in flavoring. So I'm really excited to try this one for the first time this year. I've got several of those. Um, you can look here and see if this one right here looks a little bit better. I mean, look at that. That's pretty amazing after a month. So pretty stoked about those. Um, I've got Daytail. Um, this is another hot pepper variety. I don't know if you can see the name there. It's called Daytail. That's D-A-T-I-L. Uh, it's another pepper similar to a habanero. But it's supposedly, uh, supposedly it has all the kick of a habanero, but not um, the citrusy type flavor. So I'm curious to try these. Um, I've got some other peppers here in the back. These are Ring of Fire. Um, it is a different, um, it's a cayenne type, um, but it's supposed to be more productive um, than your normal cayenne. So I'm actually, I, cayennes are one of my favorite peppers. Um, uh, and then, like I said, some of these are doing better than others. Uh, I just adjusted the light some this, this morning so that I can get away from some of that light damage. Over here, I've got some more. These are Fresnos in the front. Uh, you can kind of see this one kind of has some yellowing. Um, I think that'll be fine. Um, it's just kind of trial and error when you do peppers. Some work fine, some some not. This is a sweet cayenne, the second row. Um, the third row is pimento. Uh, I actually got these seeds from migardener.com. Great choice uh, for seeds. Um, I've got some corno de toros, which are a nice sweet pepper. Kind of a bull's horn. Uh, they're a little bit behind, but that's because they sprout a little bit later than some of these. Uh, and I got almond paprika. It's a great pepper to make paprika powder uh, to season your foods. 
I've got Red Roasters. Those are from High Mowing Organic Seeds. Those are great. Another great company to get seeds from. Um, I've got Purple Jalapeno. Uh, so like I said, some of these are a little bit further behind, but that's okay. Craig's Grande Jalapeno. And then I've got a Fish Pepper. It's actually one of my favorites as well. And then I got one Lonely Golden Marconi. So like I said, some of these are a little bit behind, but after continue feeding, uh, keep keep transplanting them when they need to be transplanted they'll do fine I've got a ton of time left to get these where I want them to be uh, the next little thing I'll give you a quick look is I got some more seeds started uh, these are some tomatoes uh, for fall uh, it is a little late but like I said I'm growing in a greenhouse so those are not going to be a big issue either these are Praxis cherry tomatoes um, from I didn't get them directly from Ray but I did get them through a seed exchange on his Facebook page this early this spring. So excited to try these. Kind of felt dropped the ball. I didn't get them this spring uh, started. Got some yellow grape tomatoes heirloom. Got some black cherry tomatoes. Uh, those are all going to be in the greenhouse this fall. Got some coral bell and some autumn bell. Those are both from migardener.com as well. I've got some Cajun bell from seeds that I saved from last year. And then I have some habanada uh, peppers growing here. Uh, and those are supposedly a habanero uh, style pepper. Uh, same flavoring as a habanero, but no heat. So I'm actually kind of curious on those. Um, I, I like good flavor uh, as well as some heat. Um, so I'm curious to see if I like these being that they don't have any heat. So, but that's it. I uh, just thought I would give you a quick look at some of the stuff I have started inside. Uh, the outside that update will be coming later on so thank you for watching uh, this is john from backyard eden have a great day